All right, I've given you a little bit of time to work on that starter. And so let's go ahead and go through some answers. I'm gonna switch over to my iPad and get that going. There we are. All right, let's see how you did. The first one that I gave you was asking about calcium. So I gave you the equation two calcium plus three N2 yielded five CaN2. I wanted to know if that was true or false, and it is very false. There's a number of things wrong with that. Uh, this is totally wrong. Um, there's not correct numbers in here. We don't have a correct formula. Um, we uh, also don't have correct numbers up here for balancing. So there is a lot wrong with that one. So let's start over. If we start with calcium reacting with nitrogen. Remember, just write the element symbols. Then we're going to put those together. Remember, the one furthest to the left in the periodic table comes first. The metal comes first, so Ca and N. Now we're going to create a, a balanced product. And so that means we have to look at the charge, the calcium plus two, the nitrogen minus three, and so we're gonna switch those numbers and it would look like that. We're gonna check for diatomics. So nitrogen has a two, calcium does not. We'll put the lines up front as we go to balance it. We have three calciums, two nitrogens on both sides, so now it's balanced. If you need help or reminders on balancing, remember that there are other videos for that. All right, number two, synthesis. What does synthesis mean? All right, synthesis means, and I'm asking the question and Fred has his hand up. So Fred is correct that synthesis means to create. It means to create, to make. So if we synthesize something, we are creating something. Number three, I wanna know about heavy metals. Heavy metals are a group of pollutants in the air, water, and soil. And when they get into living things, they tend to stay there for very long periods of time. So the heavy metals in my example were copper and zinc. There are many others, but it was just those two uh, in my example. And uh, I'm looking at Fred's paper here. Fred was right. He got that one. He knew calcium was not one of them. All right, number four. I gave you an expression like this, aluminum plus fluorine. I already told you it's diatomic. And I want to know, know what it makes, what the product is, and then I want it balanced. So we're just going to take aluminum fluorine, put them together. Aluminum's furthest to the left, so aluminum and fluorine. And then we're going to create a balanced product. The aluminum is plus three, fluorine minus one. So when we switch those numbers, the three goes on the fluorine. All right, so now I have to balance it. Uh, in order to get the fluorine balanced, I need two of those. That makes six fluorines. And a three there, that makes six fluorines. I have to make the aluminums balanced, so I need a two back on the left. And now that's a balanced expression. Number five, I wanted you to correct this one. I gave you lithium plus nitrogen yields Li2N3. And boy, there was a bunch wrong with that one. So um, we're going to start over creating a nice product. So we'll create the product. The lithium comes first. It's furthest to the left. It's also the metal. Nitrogen has a minus three charge, lithium one, so it's gonna be Li3N1, which we don't write the ones. All right, let's go ahead and balance. We're gonna start out with the nitrogen being diatomic. That puts a two right there. And then we have to balance this. So we need three lithiums on the left, and that matches on the right, but the nitrogens don't match, so we're gonna put a two there. Now our nitrogens match, but our lithiums don't. So I'm gonna come back over here 
and I need a six over here for six lithiums and two nitrogens and so now that expression uh, is balanced correctly. So if you're having any troubles with uh, numbers four and five, uh, you'll get more practice, I promise. And if you need help balancing, remember Chem Balancer is out there uh, to help you. Um, we're gonna be talking more today about synthesis, heavy metals, pollution, and some other things. So hang in there and we're off on our next uh, little adventure.